jobs is that I need to sort out the timing um, on the engine and one of the jobs I need to do before I can do that is to be able to locate top dead center with the piston in the barrel so I've watched some videos online and this is an old spark plug so what I'm hoping to do is to take away that lip round there so that I can then knock out the centre bit of the spark plug kind of just leaving that bit I can then put a bolt through that um, either create a thread and thread and, and screw a bolt in or I can just use um, nuts top and bottom to create um, a plunger about that far down smooth off the edges and then I can screw that into the piston and then by turning the um, the flywheel I can buffer the piston against it one way turn it around buffer it the other way and then the halfway point between those two is going to be the actual top dead center so that's what we're going to try and do now So I'm going to see if that will knock out now. There we go. So I can now quickly tidy that up and then decide whether I'm going to... what size bolt I've got to go through that. So I've had a bit of a rattle through all my various bolts. So this is uh, M8 size. So what I'm hoping is I can just clear out the inside of that. That may or may not go through immediately, and then I, but we'll wait and see. And then I can decide whether I just put that in inside there and put a nut on, and that'll be fine. It's not going to take any great pressure. Or do I need to try and thread that so that that bolt will go through it? So first job, I need to just try and clear out the inside of this. So I think if that bolt goes in there, put a little nut on the bottom, and I think that'll be deep enough to catch the, stop the piston before the top dead centre, and I can do it both ways around, and the gap in between the two is going to be the top dead centre. So the, so the original plan was to put an M8 bolt through there coming out the bottom, screw a nut on, job's a good one. However, now realise if I put an M8 bolt in, the actual nut is going to be wider, slightly wider than the threads, so that won't actually screw in. So I think what I'm going to try temporarily is to drop an M6 bolt in, um, put a nut on that and see if that's going to be stable enough. So if we put that in there and then do that up. The question now is, is that going to be long enough to stop the piston? So there's only one way to find out. Okay, so that's in. So from that I can turn the piston all the way, or sorry, turn the flywheel and therefore the piston up and down all the way around. So obviously that bolt I've just put in isn't quite long enough. So I need to find somehow a longer bolt. 
I'm just threading an M10 thread to the inside of the, the old plug. So what I can now do, I've got a thread through there, big M10 bolt, so I can thread that into there, and this out here is now going to be my piston stop, I've got quite a long way I can go in, which I'm hoping this is now going to work as a piston stop. I'm not going to do the measuring now, but I'm just going to see whether this works. So I've put the old spark plug with the threaded bolt in it, and I've just sort of wound it in a distance to see whether that's going to work. So if I then turn the flywheel, which is then pushing the piston up, and just there it's just touching the stopper so there's a tiny little blue mark i've just made there then if i turn it completely around the other way so it's gone down and it comes back up until it reaches there so it's now the piston's gone all the way down and gone all the way back up against the stopper again i've made a little mark there so when I come to do the final timing, I'll do this more accurately. Basically, there's a little blue mark there and a little blue mark there. So top dead center will be exactly halfway between those two marks and that'll be my top dead center. And then I can mark that on here and then I need to set the time at 23 degrees before top dead center. So once the timing gun comes, I've just bought a cheap one, I'm hoping it will work accurately enough. It's not a tuned engine, so it doesn't need to be brilliant. Um, so that's one of the final jobs that I need to sort out. So I've got the piston stop tool in place. And around here, we've got a timing disc with the degrees on. I've got a piece of wire to give us a reference and then just a nice strong magnet holding that in place. So first job is take the flywheel around until the piston reaches the stop, which is there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this round zero ten twenty thirty thirty nine degrees degrees so it's going to be halfway between those two is 19 and a half which is going to be top dead center which is going to be around about there so we need to take the piston stop tool out Twenty 
19 and a half degrees. So 19 and a half degrees there, that's now top left centre. And what I need is 23 degrees. 10, 20, 10, 22, 23. I've got a mark for top dead centre and I've got a mark for 23 degrees before top dead centre um, and if I'm going for real accuracy it's actually the right hand side of the mark which is that says 23 degrees so that's what I'm aiming for when I've got the timing light on so that will be a job I think for tomorrow Okay, so a couple of days on, we're now, we've got our markings of uh, top dead centre and where the 23 degrees before top dead centre, that's marked onto the casing. Um, I've got some jump leads set up off the solar panel system, which is going to allow me to run my strobe gun. Um, so we need to fire it up and we need to see where this mark here is hopefully you can see there's a blue mark on that fin there if it's timing correct with the strobe gun that should line up like that i suspect it won't be and then i've got to find a bit of trial and error where i need to adjust the stator plate if it's firing there or there so just got to give it a go and see what happens here. So when I did that, the, uh, the timing mark was too close to top dead center. So I think what I need to do is faff around now. I've got to take the flywheel off, undo the screws on the stator and turn it slightly anti-clockwise. Screw it all back on, put the flywheel back on, kick it up again and check the time. I don't know how well that came out on camera, that was almost spot on. Um, 
I think it's just going to be the tiniest, tiniest fraction to get it exactly right. So may as well give it a go. It's not a tuned engine, but I still think for the sake of five minutes. Okay, so I'm happy with the timing now. So next job, I need to put the top on the car box, um, and then I need to put the cowl over the engine, um, put on the um, put on the flywheel cover and the gear shifter cover, and then basically I need to go for a little bit of a ride get it warmed up properly and then just see if I need to tweak the, um, the fuel mixture and the idle. At the moment I've been doing everything on the choke because it's cold so that's the next job. <laughs> To begin with, I wasn't sure how well this aftermarket um, selector box cover was going to fit, but I just did a little bit of fettling around the bracket and it's actually gone on really well and fitted really nicely, so I'm pleased with that. The um, new flywheel cover's gone on very easily, that all worked. Flywheel's torqued down correctly. Um, so next job, I'm quickly going to fit two rubbers onto the brake and the kickstart. So, I think that's it, give or take teething troubles, of which I'm sure there'll be plenty, we're finished. About two and a half years, I'll work out the money later, lots of new skills learned, well learned, maybe that's a bit strong, lots of new skills attempted. Um, I'm really chuffed the fact that I've done everything I could have paid to have a lot of it done by professionals and it would have been better but I wanted to try and do it myself and here we are so essentially the next 
a half decent day when it's not banging it down with rain or blowing a hoolie. We ride. How exciting. <laughs>